Welcome to Ocast by O House, a podcast where we discuss topics related to everything in the O House world, from new and existing products to application stories from relevant industries. I'm your host, Eric Alden. In today's episode, we're happy to welcome Peter Will, Marketing Product Manager for Lab Equipment and Water Analysis Meters for the Americas, to talk us through the AquaSearcher series. I guess the best way to start is, what is the AquaSearcher in your terms? Yeah, sure, Eric. Thanks for having me on today. Um, so AquaSearcher, it's a O-House's recently launched line of benchtop water analysis meters. So we, we just launched the beginning of August. We're really excited about that. Um, and these meters can be used to measure uh, pH of samples as well as other parameters such as ORP, conductivity, total dissolved solid, salinity, resistivity, and temperature. Wow, that's, that's amazing. How, um, how many models are, are in the series? So we launched six new models and they're positioned at three different levels. So first off, we have the AquaSearcher AB23 series, and that's our entry level products and consists of the AB23 pH and then a conductivity meter, which is the AB23 EC. Then the next level up is our AB33 series, and that's our basic level, and that consists of three different models, the AB33 pH, the AB33 EC, which measures conductivity, and then we also have a multi-parameter meter, which is the AB33 M1. Um, and then the last level, which is our research grade level, is the AB41, and this unit can measure pH and ORP. How much of a leap is there between like entry level and, and a basic level? Uh, I think between the, the entry and basic, there's a pretty decent size leap. Um, let's say like for a couple of reasons. So like the entry level, the AB23, there's no way to export data. So there's no external connectivity. Whereas when you get up to the, the basic and the research grade, at that point, you can interface those meters with a PC or a printer where you want to may want to export data um, for GLP practices. Um, in addition to that, the the higher end units also are uh, able to measure down to a higher resolution. So, for example, the AB41 has up to three point resolution, which is so 0 0.001 versus the AB23 series, which just has uh, 0 0.01. Um, so those would be a couple of examples of where the differences are. And then, you know, as you go from entry to the, the basic and the research grade, there's also other features within the software that separates them, um, such as being able to change the language of the menu um, and, and really customizing the meters for uh, specific applications and for specific users. Oh, I see. Um, what are some of the other the other main features that are maybe unique to the Aqua Searchers comp uh, compared to others in the market? Yeah, so I think first and foremost, if you take a look at the industrial design of any one of the meters that we just launched, I think you'll notice that all of the models have a really sleek and modern, uh, but yet durable design something that you could compare to, I don't know, maybe an Apple iPad tablet. And next I'd say after the industrial design is the user interface. So the, the interface was, was designed to be easy to use. We've included some recognizable icons such as the printer icon, uh, the calibration icon, and the menu. The menu is really easy to navigate and it allows the users to, to customize their meter for features um, such as sample measuring time or things like the pH resolution. Like in the AB41, it's it's a uh, user selectable from 0 0.1 to 0 0.001. Uh, they can also choose different buffer selections. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, they can even change the language of the menu. 
Uh, there are seven different language options, including French and Spanish. So during the development product, uh, during the product development phase, uh, much earlier on, I was given the opportunity to test some of the competitors units and and I found them to be a bit clunky and not really easy to operate. So even some of the competitors units that may have a nice modern and edgy type of appearance, to me they felt flimsy and they were a little bit difficult to operate. So our goal was to develop the AquaSearcher instruments to not only look fantastic, but to also be easy to operate. And I think we've really done a good job with that. That's great. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh during the development process, um, do you take into account, like, do you get um, feedback from, you know, researchers, from people that work in a laboratory setting to asking sort of, oh, could you do this? Or we'd love if you could do this. Is that is that part of the development process? It is. We do reach out to end users to get uh, to get end user feedback. Um, you know, the our engineers are great at engineering product. However, you know, we really need the end user input in order to um, incorporate what their needs are into our next phase uh, of product line. Uh, like, and one example of that would be the AB23 series. So even though that's an entry level model, uh, we heard from customers that they were really interested even at that level to have multiple endpoint modes or measuring modes. Um, so we did that, we listened to their input and we incorporated that into the AB23, which now has um, auto stop as well as continuous endpoint modes. So that's an upgraded feature in the AB23 series, which the former starter ST2100 did not have. Oh, interesting. Um, so what is the ideal setting for an aqua searcher? What, what is the ideal sort of use case for, for, these, for this whole line? Well, honestly, I think the the bench meters, I, you'll probably find them primarily in labs on lab benches. However, they they can really span many segments, um, such as life science, pharmaceutical, um, chemistry to teaching labs, um, and also even in high school laboratories where um, students are, are learning for the first time. Um, another area where you might see pH meters used would be in the food and beverage industry. Uh, one example for the, for that would be in in brewery. So in in the beer making, they do use pH meters uh, during the development phase, and then also for final uh, testing of the final product. <laughs> Have you gotten a chance to engage in any of the uh, final testing of the brewery product? Um, I haven't yet, but I think that that's definitely on the radar. <laughs> Um, I'm curious about the the name Aqua Searcher. Is there a, is there a story behind that? There is. So so the meters are used. Um, they're they're not just pH meters, right? And and they're these are instruments that are water analysis instruments. So we're you know Aqua Searchers always looking for um, that next water sample to test. And you know we came out with the the, the term aqua searcher because we feel like it's very appropriate for what the meters stand for. Um, previously, we were using the term starter, and you know we've come a long way since we launched electrochemistry in 2014. So they're they're no longer starter meters. They're you know we've at we're O House is at a completely different level now when it comes to water analysis testing. So the term aqua searcher is definitely more appropriate for the type of meters that we're now offering. That's great. Um, you know, if someone is, is you know in the market for something like this, looking to add this to the laboratory, is there anything else they they should know about the aqua searcher that would maybe be the tipping point? That may be like, oh, this is this is perfect for for my needs, or this is well suited to the work I have to do. Well, I mean, I talked about. Um, the industrial design and the user interface, I think that's probably the most important. Like people want to be able to um, use a meter that's, that's simple to operate. Uh, they don't want to have to go to a user manual and try to um, read up and, and how to operate their meter. So definitely we've accomplished that. Uh, but in addition, you know, not just to the meters, but we've also launched several new electrodes with this product launch. So in particular, we have uh, one of them, which is the ST410, and another, which is the ST420. 
And these are upgraded electrodes to some of the other uh, electrodes that we have uh, in the line. They're double junction electrodes. Um, so this type of design is superior to a single junction electrode. Uh, and we found that these new electrodes will uh, provide an additional three to six months on the life expectancy, which is a pretty big deal. Mm. Um, and then in addition to that, the meters that are sold as kits, we're now including liquid buffer kits. And uh, this is a change from what we were doing in the past where we were providing powder kits. Um, so that's an improvement. It's uh, it will help the end user when they're calibrating their electrodes uh, and it's just a much more user friendly way to go. Mm -hmm. And then the last point I wanted to mention is on our research grade, the Aqua Searcher AB41, that kit includes a new product, which is a low profile magnetic stirrer. And the nice thing about the stir is, is the the end user can stir their sample while they're taking their pH measurement, and that will help provide a more accurate reading of their sample. So we have some great meters, we have some great accessories, and I think everything together is a, a real superior package than what we were offering before, um, and, and superior to many of the competitors models that are out there. I imagine too, it you know, being user friendly and having that comfort level also helps with safety concerns as well. As the people are more comfortable with the devices, it probably makes it a bit of a safer work environment. Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, you know, from from the new accessories that we have, and I, I didn't mention that we do have a new um, electrode holder, mm -hmm. and so the electrode holder allows the the meter to be set up much easier on the bench and from a safety standpoint um, you can kind of tuck the wires away so they're not getting involved when you're taking measurements um, so it, it just makes for a safer environment when when you're taking your ph readings peter thank you so much for joining us today i really enjoyed hearing more about the uh, the aqua searcher and um, hopefully we'll have you back again soon Sounds great, Eric. Thanks for having me on today. I appreciate it. For more information, visit our website, ohouse.com, O-H-A-U-S, to view and download more information about the products for featured in today's episode. All of these products are available for purchase by contacting your regional Ohouse representative. I want to thank our guest, Peter Will, for joining us today and for taking time to teach us more about these new Ohouse product lines. This has been an episode of Ocast with Eric Hall, and I look forward to having you back for our next episode.